Hi everyone, this is Janae, and I'm here to show my Project Life album, or at least part of it. I started Project Life at the beginning of the year, and remarkably have kept up with it. I think that's due to um, just a few things. I don't do it week by week by week, like most people, I guess, or how it was designed to be done. And so I then, in that case, I don't use title cards. Um, sometimes I think those title cards, although they are really pretty and I know a lot of people use them to show the week, I just think they kind of take up space that uh, could otherwise be used for an actual event. And then sometimes the albums get a little too big, and I wanted my album only to be one album. Uh, I just think two or some people, sometimes people even get into the third album. It's just too much and not realistic to actually have going forward if you want to do this every year. So I kind of just took that kind of take on it where I just, that day, if there's something to document, I documented it. If there wasn't, there wasn't. I didn't make myself super stressed out about it because there is no right or wrong way to do Project Life. And I knew that if I made it too complicated and I made myself, you know, realize, oh my gosh, every day I have to do a picture or have something going on, that I would probably get overwhelmed and not do it. So I wanted to take that um, that element out of it and just kind of have fun. And if you have something going on or you want to document something, go ahead. I have enjoyed Project Life because it allows me to scrapbook some of those things that would never go into my regular album, but yet are super fun to look back at, back at on. And my husband has enjoyed looking back at the Project Life, and I've even enjoyed going back and just looking at everything and remembering stuff. So if you aren't doing Project Life, at least that's something to think about. Uh, and, and make your own twist on it. Don't get stressed out with what everybody else is doing or how it was designed to be. Because I know as far as Becky Higgins is concerned, this is supposed to be super simple. So I love the more complicated ones, but mine stayed pretty simple. So I used the Amy Tangerine uh, camera album, which I'm sure most of you have seen. And uh, so far this album's been pretty good. Uh, it's not overloaded, which is good, and I'm already into November with my Project Life, and if you can see, that's the, only, that's the thickness of it. I didn't want anything too chunky. Um, and I do Project Life kind of maybe every four or five days, I would say closer to four days, I'll you know print out my pictures and document it. I use an Epson charm for my Project Life pictures that... Um, that I need right away and to put into the album. My other pictures that I use for my actual layouts are printed out or printed using either Snapfish or Shutterfly. I find they have pretty good quality and I like the glossy prints. Uh, so I don't use my, for my everyday pictures, I use my Epson Charm. For my actual layout pictures, I use um, an online uh, printing source. So that's about that. I do have uh, all my Project Life stuff for the most part together in um, a lovely divided, um, I guess, tray. I, I'm not going to show you that because it's a little too big, but I use mostly 6x6 six six paper pads. I use my washi, and then I have some great Project Life stamps that I've picked up throughout the year that I implement as well. So here it is. There's the thickness, and I'm just going to open it. The, the front, or the beginning is... I, oh, and I did get a Becky Higgins um, kit. I don't remember. I think it was the Clementine collection. But about a third through the year, I realized that uh, I would rather just use my own stash. I did use a lot of her grid papers. Uh, or not grid papers. Grid cards. Uh, and I still use a lot of those. And I did do my title page um, using her layouts and her cards. And this is before I kind of knew what I wanted to do and kind of thought, you know, that I wanted to go my own way, not just the kit. Because after a while, like, kit gets kind of dull. So, so that's that. Um, and these are my pages. Oh, another thing is I've used Becky Higgins design pages, all different designs. I got, like, the multi-pack from, from Becky Higgins or from Amazon. And then I also use um, We Are Memory Keepers. Um, page dividers and there's the one that I like that you'll see in here um, that I really like the most from We Are Memory Keepers so I kind of mix it up again not to make it like super just kind of boring and dull as far as I'm concerned 
I mean, to each its own, of course. So, okay, I'm already five minutes in and I haven't showed you anything. So, this is my project life, and this was a trip we took to Vegas. So, I decided to start it just kind of randomly after, and that's that side, to after um, a trip that we took to Vegas. And hopefully, it isn't too dark. I closed the windows because the afternoon sun is beating in here pretty good. So, um,. So, okay, this is a, and I don't know if you can see the whole thing right there. So these are, what, nine four-by-four four squares, and this is a We Are Memory Keepers um, page divider, and I really do like, I like this design the best, and I have had to stop myself, the next page is the same thing, I've had to stop myself not to just use these, uh, but I do enjoy uh, the We Are Memory Keepers, and they actually, in a way, are built nicer than the Project Life Becky Higgins ones, so I don't know. Again, to each his own. Okay, so this one, and I'll just go kind of block by block. So this is the, the first square, and I'm starting October 12th, and that's a picture of, I'm not sure you can see it, all oh, that great, but let's try some overhead light. Oh, that's just going to cause glare. Okay, so that's just a picture of dinner we had that night. And I used this uh, stamp, and it says, I super love this. And that is from that um, Mama Elephant stamp set. And stamped a uh, speech bubble here that says today. And I think that's from that stamp set from... Hopefully I don't drop things. Close to my heart, that bonus stamp set called It's Your Day from the It's Your Day campaign. And that's it right there. So, at least I think that's from there. It might not be. But, yeah, I think it is. <laughs> okay, so that's there. Um, again, I print my pictures um, using my Epson charm, so I can kind of get them any size I want, especially once I crop them down. Um, use a little washi, uh, yellow and white washi there. And on this side, I um, I don't know if you can see that, I uh, stamped dinner, and that's from a Studio Calico kit, and then just the date, of course, using my millions of date stamps. Um, so the next one is about our kitty. We don't have any kids yet, so she's pretty much uh, a very spoiled kitty. And, oh, and this background paper was using um, the Seen and Noted uh, collection from Pebbles. And this background paper on this second one was using Amy Tangerine. Yeah, I want to say the, the newest Amy Tangerine paper. Uh, again, 12 by 12. Um, so that's a picture of our kitty. She's super cute. And just a little um, documentation of that, um, of, about this picture. And this little I love my cat button or, or badge came from, or flare, I guess. Came from Evalicious. Um, she has a super cute kitty set, so I got that. And then this picture was also taken on the same day. Uh, the paper is using Amy Tangerine, I think, again. And there she is. Our cat's name is Cove, C O V E. So there it is. And then these are just some thickers here. And then um, I put her name in those basic gray, like those tiny, tiny letters from the Serendipity collection. And then I stamped it stamp the date. Uh, in the middle section here, so this is journaling, and that journaling is about this picture. This is uh, the day we went to the corn maze not far from our house, and we've never actually been to a corn maze. I, I don't think I've ever been to one in my life, and my husband can't remember if he did or not, so maybe I'll have to ask my mother-in-law, but in any event, we went, and it was a good time, and uh, he is very good at directions, so we didn't get lost. I tried to get lost, but we couldn't get lost. Uh, but it was still a lot of fun. So that's the documentation. These are letters I think I got from like Walmart. They're wooden letters. And these are those thickers that look like uh, Scrabble pieces. I think they're Amy Tangerine. And again, using the scene and noted paper in the background. And there's that. This one's just a filler card using the Amy Tangerine collection. So and it says I'd go anywhere or everywhere with you, and use some uh, black outlining. Uh, I don't know if you can see that right there, which is totally inspired by Mercy Tierra or Tracy. Uh, this one uh, is October twelfth, and my lighting just went weird. So let's see if we can get some more. Uh, 
uh, just documenting that I got some Banana Fish Studio stamps that day. And um, I don't even know where they are. I'll have to show them to you. But I got some, uh, they're pretty hard to get your hands on because they sell out so quickly. But I got some really cute ones. And I'm not sure I used any in this, in my project life here yet. But, um, so yeah. And then this uh, is the date stamp at the bottom. And here is some more documentation about the picture above. Just used a just used a Studio Calico Arrow. It's more seen and noted paper. I think this is a Becky Higgins grid uh, that I grid card that I cut down to size and some washi and called it good. And then over here is from the same day at the corn maze. My husband took a picture of me. I climbed up on some sort of wobbly apparatus. And I didn't even realize he was taking these pictures. I looked down at him and he snapped one, so that, that worked out pretty well. And these are, uh, that says lovely with an arrow stamp, and that is a uh, Allie Edwards stamp. And this is a um, Jenny Bolin uh, tab punch with, uh, I just stamped a couple arrows on it and outlined it. And the paper is from, oh, what is the paper from? It's a newer collection, and I can't remember it for the life of me. Uh, life is good? Uh, I forget. I'll have to look it up. I know what it is. I just can't remember the name of it. Um, and this is the an Amy Tangerine, that puffy sticker. And this is a stamp that says, take a picture, it will last longer. And that's from a uh, There She Goes stamp set. And it's this one. I think it's called Oh Snap. So there's that side, and then for the next side, um, this was also the same day, but the, the afternoon of that day, uh, we went out to actually get our pumpkins from another place, and we they had a beautiful tree, so we took some pictures, I don't know if you can see that picture all that clear, but that's my husband and I, and then a random scarecrow, which he kind of looks like a creepy guy, so I thought that was kind of cool. And then this is an Ellie Edwards stamp that says, remember this moment, cherish this story, celebrate this life. And it's all on uh, seen and noted paper. And I heat embossed um, the stamp, so it's actually a little raised, and it's in black uh, embossing powder. And then just a little bit of washi, and... A little uh, sticker here that says I love you so and that's some of the Cosmo Cricut tiny type which is these letters here I think you can get them from Joann's or online I suppose and then this one is a picture of me holding a pumpkin under a tree <laughs> and it says favorite time of year and I think that came from this paper is Amy Tangerine but I think that that came from the um, Pebbles, that autumn, that new autumn collection they have out, and um, I just date stamped it there. And this one is, again, I think Amy Tangerine, and this is from that Pebbles um, accent sheet as well, the autumn one. And here's another picture of us by the scarecrow, and uh, that arrow there I cut from my silhouette. And then this little pumpkin, I'm not sure. I think that came from that new. Allie Edwards set and I just uh, stamped it in a little bit of uh, brown ink and this one says this little sticker here says life's good and that's from the Cosmo Cricket and then when we got home I took a picture of the or I had my husband take a picture of the house um, because that tree in our front yard was uh, turning and I knew that the leaves would probably be gone in no time so he got a cool picture of the house and then he or not he First of all, I use Amy Tangerine uh, paper, background paper, from the newest collection. Uh, I stamped Our in the Quinn's ABCs from Lawn Fawn and used some October afternoon mini markets there. It says Autumn, so it says Our Autumn Home, and the home is using the simple story snap letters in kind of the orange color. And then the word beautiful is a Cosmo Cricket uh, sticker. And... So this one here, the next one, is um, a printable that came from the silhouette. It was like a free one for that week. So I uh, made it the right size and then printed it out on my printer. And it just has some false sayings and stuff. And then this is this 
this one is just all about these pictures, or just journaling about it, and these stickers, or these stamps came from that uh, Close to My Heart stamp set, and I think so did that little um, arrow. And then down here, so that was October 13th, and then see, I go to October 16th, because nothing I felt major or, you know, worthy enough to, to actually make a little square about happened between those days. It could have, but it just... It's not important to me to have something every single day. So, um, this is documenting the, the debate that took place on October 16th for the presidential elections. So, there's, um, I just use these letters. I think they're Studio Calico letters. And then I documented and then stamped the date. And then over here, I um, printed out a picture. I got a picture online of um, Governor Romney, President Obama, and, um, Set that in there, use some mini markets. This is Obama, and then Romney in the mini markets there. And then these two arrows, I think, came from a Kelly Perky set. Um, so that's that. And then the paper is seen and noted. And over here is in this last cell, October 18th, is just um, the that paper bag that I said comes over the Mama Elephant stamps. Um, and this is the first one I got. And so I thought I'd document it, and then I used a little arrow paper cup and stamped the date and called it good. So that is that. Uh, this video got pretty long, so I think I'm going to stop it here because that's that's long. Um, and, and then go through these probably tomorrow. Um, but yeah, so that's a little taste of my project life. And this is, I guess I can just show you this real quick. This is the next page here so I'll come back and maybe do that in a little more detail but there it is um, and there's a little bit on my take on project life hope you enjoyed thanks for watching bye